Hey everybody, this is Keith here of Euphoria Pictures. Welcome back to my channel. Right folks, so for this video I'm going to carry on with my James Cameron 4K reviews and up next I have got The Abyss. And this is probably hands down one of the most anticipated 4K releases of the year. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put it ahead of Aliens because as you know, the Abyss never got a Blu-ray release, it was just a simple DVD edition. And I checked out that DVD uh, a couple of nights ago and uh, wow, uh, the picture quality was quite poor on it. So regardless of uh, whether this looks good or bad in terms of 4K, chances are we are going to be getting a marked improvement over that DVD edition. It's a win-win, but look, I'll share more about that now very, very soon. But as for the movie itself, I am a huge fan of it, even though I have to admit, it was not love at first sight. It took me multiple viewings to fully appreciate it. And now it's one of my go-to James Cameron movies. There is something beautiful about the message that James Cameron is trying to get across in this movie. Because as you know, the aliens have the technology and means to wipe out mankind. And regardless of how bad things get in terms of war, uh, it's the love of a couple that turns their heads. And there's something really beautiful about that. You know, love conquers all. The good will always outweigh the bad. It's such a beautiful message and I absolutely love it. But not only that, but the movie itself set a benchmark in terms of CGI. And James Cameron got that perfect balance in terms of CGI and uh, practical effects. And I have to tell you, for the most part, they hold up incredibly well. But not only that, but you are getting some incredible performances. You know, we got a James Cameron regular returning with Michael Bean. Only this time, he's actually given the villain role. And I have to tell you, he, uh, he excels in that role. He accomplishes it with ease. He is very unsettling to watch. Uh, he does an incredible job. Ed Harris. Hands down, one of the most underrated actors of all time. Just look at the scene, the resuscitation scene in this. It gets me every time. I get teary-eyed every time I watch it. Uh, just look at the cast. None of them are acting. They're just simply marvelling on what G uh, Ed Harris is bringing to the game. He is absolutely incredible. And then, of course, you've got Mary Elizabeth Mastrodoni. I hope I'm pronouncing her name correct there. Another strong uh, leading female role. Uh, James Cameron always seems to get the best out of his, uh, his actresses. She is unbelievable. And she has that one moment that might go to go go to scene by her in terms of her acting. And it is the scene when Bud tells her that he only has five minutes of oxygen left. Uh, wow, the scene gives me chills. It just gives the, just the hairs on my arm just stand up. It's just that convincing. She is, just like Ed Harris, highly underrated. And it goes without saying, folks, but if you haven't checked out The Abyss, uh, please do. It is so unbelievably original. Like I said, it's getting a beautiful message across there. Some amazing performances and top-of-the-line CGI as well. I think you'll be massively impressed by it. Now, in terms of uh, special features on this one, just like the Aliens release, you do get a dedicated bonus disc. Now, I haven't checked it out. But I'm almost certain that the DVD edition that we got all those years ago did have a bonus disc as well. And something's telling me it's going to be the same special features on that disc. But I'm hoping I'm wrong. I'm hoping we do get some new uh, special features. But look, I'd have to look into it myself. But uh, really looking forward to doing so. Right, folks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you around this release, give you a close look at it. And then I'm going to come back and review its 4K picture. So, uh, yeah, let's get to it. Right, so here we go, The Abyss. So just like my Aliens video, I'm gonna say the same thing here when it comes to the sticker. Do not try and remove it. It's stuck on there, it's not coming off. And uh, if you do try to remove it, chances are you're gonna do some damage to the slipcover. Now, I have to tell you, the artwork looks so much better on this one. Uh, there's just a lot more going on to it. Not only that, but I absolutely love the color scheme to it. It's very fitting for the movie itself. Uh, the writing, The Abyss itself, actually has this nice little bit of embossing going on. And the entire slipcover has a beautiful high gloss finish to it. So uh, yes, really liking this one. So I'll take his onto the spine of this. And right around to the back. And much like the Alien release, uh, you've got the right up there on the top. You've got your special features and your technical uh, aspects there in the middle. So if you do want to pause that and check them out, by all means do so. And just so you know, every disc that you get inside this is region free, which is always a good thing. So as you can see, the insert is the exact same as what we got on the slipcover, so I'm not gonna spend any time with it. I'll just quickly show you the spine again, and right around to the back, and it's all the same. So when you open it up, you are greeted to your Blu-ray disc on the left-hand side, 4K disc on the right, 
And uh, when you remove your 4K disc, you will see your bonus material. So there you have it, folks. That is just a quick look at this release of The Abyss. Right, so on to the 4K transfer. Now, I just want to reiterate what I actually said in my Aliens video right at the start here. I am no expert when it comes to 4K transfers. Look, that goes without saying. But I know what looks good. I know what looks bad. I will always try to simplify things. Um, I never want to overanalyze anything because I do not want to jeopardize my first viewing experience when it comes to the abyss. I just come in here. I'm never thinking about the video. I'm just simply marveling what's on screen. So just bear that in mind when I'm talking here. And not only that, but another thing I just wanted to say here as well. James Cameron, whether you love him or you hate him, there is no denying that this man is a genius. And he actually approved this 4K transfer. And who are we to question James Cameron? That's all I'm going to say. So without that, uh, with all that said, what do I think of The Abyss on 4K? Well, much like my Aliens video, I think it looks absolutely phenomenal on 4k oh my god it is insane how good it actually looks now i just want to address a few things that people said about the transfer where they were talking about the dnr and they were saying that everything has this waxy appearance it's just not there it is not there trust me if this image was dnr to death uh, every bit of fine detail would be removed off their faces but when you look at the 4k release there is so much going on in terms of uh, detail on their faces it is quite striking at times and it's not just on their faces Clothing and textures as well, even like the interiors of the, the inside of the, the, the rig. You can make out every bit of rust and water. There's just so much going on. The water glistening on the metal. There is so much to marvel at here. So no, the DNR is not an issue. And people were saying that the grain structure was scrubbed, as well, scrubbed away as well. Again, not true. The grain structure is there. It's fine. It's incredibly fine. But it is there. If you go up close, you will see it. And it is beautifully consistent. So yes, the grain structure is there. It's intact. Do not worry. It's not scrubbed away. The picture is insanely sharp. There is no question about it. Yes, it looks modern. It really does. And I know purists are probably going to have a problem with that. But your average viewer is going to be... They're going to be blown away by what they see here. Me personally, the more modern the better for me. But I understand why purists might hate this one. But the Dolby Vision doesn't drastically change things from what I see. It's not the most colourful movie you're ever likely to see, but there is moments where it does get to flex its muscles, and it's mainly to do with the aliens, them purples, those pinks. They look incredibly striking, and I was massively impressed by the Dolby Vision colours on them particular scenes. The one little gripe that I had with this 4K transfer is the black levels. They're nothing near as dark as, and inky as I come to expect it, especially if you stack it up against aliens, which I think the black levels look so much better on. But the increased shadow detail really does make a difference. And uh, look, folks, it goes without saying, this is, uh, this is truly a night and day difference, uh, particularly when you stack it up against that DVD edition. I honestly think you'll have few complaints. Now it also comes with a Dolby Atmos soundtrack and there are so many instances that I could talk about in this movie and when it comes to showcasing sound like for instance when it comes to the low end bass just check out the scene when the crane falls down and it drags the rig there is just this incredible rumble of bass and it will rattle your room out of it your overhead channels it especially after that scene they never let up either you're going to hear a lot of dripping of war even the rig itself it sounds like the metal is always stretching uh, it is incredibly immersive it puts you right in the middle of the action and it never lets you go even the rear channels they never let up they never knock off there is always something going on it is an absolutely incredible sounding Dolby Atmos soundtrack and I know diehard fans these are going to be ecstatic with what you hear here so there you have it folks that is my review of the abyss and as you can see by the video and much like my aliens video I am so impressed uh, with the results here the picture quality is phenomenal the sound is absolutely fantastic and it is easily the best way to watch the abyss but look we knew that already going into it so there you have it folks so as per usual if you did like what you see here please do give it a thumbs up and if you could do leave a comment down below and please do share your thoughts on this movie and if you have seen it what did you think of its 4k transfer and yeah i hope to see you all again real soon with my next video until then i'll see you soon bye bye